Hey, what's up, folks? Welcome back to my shop of cheap tools and even cheaper thrills. So in the last, uh, well, one of my last episodes, I made this uh, telescoping lead screw, and it works good. But I did run into a problem with it. If this is going to be uh, extended out at all, like I'm going to lose another inch of travel out of there. So I revamped that whole thing, and I did pretty much the same thing here as I did here. And I uh, hand filed a key with key down, so it fits perfectly in there. And now I kind of just mimic the uh, South Bend version of their telescoping lead screw, I guess. And that's going to work out pretty good, I think. So now what I would like to do in the interest of uh, authenticity, I guess, I don't know. Uh, on the original, there's a Woodruff key in here. And the one I did on here, I just went straight forward and milled that whole thing out. But as you... I don't know, as I said before, those uh, my 1 8 end mills are pretty much had the bun. So, I've got this fairly sizable chunk of uh, half inch drill rod or 01 tool steel or silver steel. Like, I haven't even got to use this stuff yet, so I'm kind of stoked on maybe hardening some steel and making some tooling. I would like to make a woodruff cutter, as it turns out. It's got a 1 8 by half inch or a little less than half inch uh, Woodruff key. I think it's a uh, number 404 Woodruff key. If the uh, Machinery's Handbook has anything to say about it. I could be wrong. That book is a little bit daunting. Anyways. So my biggest problem is not turning this down to, to make a, a little disc at the end of this thing. It's the whole indexing portion. Now I'm going to have to index 6 or 8 cutters in there somehow I thought of using my index in the thingy and it generally just runs off the change gears off my lathe you know I just put a change gear on there and bolt it on and and the uh, the little wedge thing does the rest but this is really only good for uh, things to go on the outside of that shaft so that's not gonna work then I was considering using this uh, hex block maybe doing a six tooth cutter but then I couldn't figure out how to hold that in there. So that wasn't really going to work. But out of curiosity one time I ordered a half inch 5C collet. I have one collet. One real collet. <laughs> and it's half an inch. Which as it turns out is just right for that uh, drill, drill rod. So, so I think I'm going to do... I'm going to make a freaking hex block. So the dimensions of a 5C collet are surprisingly simple. Like the OD here is only is exactly inch and a quarter. Uh, I think this was two inches or so. Well, that's what it's calling for in the drawings anyway. Yeah, two inches. And then it's got a 10 degree taper on here. And this is supposed to be 1.48 or something like that. This is actually the perfect size for that block. So I'm hoping this works out. I realize that that gnarly hunk of hex stock is not going to be perfect. But uh, I'm going to get it as close as I can in the three jaw. Uh, for what I'm doing, hopefully it's good enough. Well, I think that's probably as good as we're going to get it, I'm thinking. This seems, always seems to come back to that low spot. And we're running relatively straight according to this. So I think we're good. Now, I'm not really too concerned about how nice the drill hole is. That's going to get bored out. So we're going to have to bore that out to an inch and a quarter. And I guess just run a freaking 10 degree taper on there until it's uh, until the outside diameter comes to about an inch and three quarter. Or no. No, 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 no. Inch and... Yeah, I'll set it in. 1.4 inches, we'll say. Yeah. Step that up a little faster. You better not. <laughs> What 
of <laughs> When it works, it works. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's always this bit. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> say f you, you f Oh my god. Yeah, like I gotta say, when this drill bit works, like it, it is freaking amazing. But I just, I don't know how to use good ones. <laughs> I think that's my biggest problem. Like that's just one push, you just push right through it and. You know, just it, it it just cuts too good. <laughs> I guess I don't know. Yeah, I had to stop. She's uh completely plugged up with chips inside there. Let's break it up and then blow it out somehow. Holy cow, look at that. <laughs> It's coming out the back of the frickin' <laughs> That's something nice to get caught in the frickin' gears. Awesome. <sighs> yeah, that's the problem. Such a nice board though. Not bad. I might be switching up these inserts here pretty quick. <laughs> That's just the deflection right there. This might be a long video, but I've never really done a bore this this deep before. So it's kind of interesting to me. <laughs> Sucks to have to watch both ends of the freaking headstock. Yeah, there it comes. Shit. That's not good. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be switching up these inserts. That's that's a uh, problem waiting to happen. All right, we'll try out one of these Walter uh, DCMT uh, whatever. I don't I don't know what all the numbers mean, but uh, these generally have a really nice chip breaker on them. So hopefully we don't get a big coil out of that. Nearly 
nice to finish though, but yeah. That's a serious chip breaker. definitely a chip breaker holy cow <laughs> wow that chip breaker that's that's freaking awesome even in cold roll those just do excellent this has really got to be pretty tight so i don't want it to i don't want to bugger it up so it's 365 and about six tenths or 165 and six tenths sorry <laughs> Try a fifty forty towel off the old deal, it'll bring us right up to getting close then. Toyos. These are actually pretty awesome. You can't really over flex them, so they're they're pretty good. Yeah, you know, we're exactly at 200 or one and 1.2 inches. So we got another 50 thou to go. Close, take another 30 thou off the OD. Sneak up on it. Well, I'm out of coffee, I might have to shut her down for the night.
That's looking pretty decent. Oh, for sure, we want to get this right on the money. 237 and a half, so. We're 12 and a half thou, and we should be right up there. So for that, yeah, I am going to switch to those shiny, fancy shiny inserts. All right, so what did I say? 12 and a half thousands. Please don't be chatter. The chatter? That's oh, I was just thinking, I can't believe I haven't lost this damn screw yet, but I just about did. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we're screwed no matter what we do. It's just about going to hit some thicker stuff here right away, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> See what happens. That is actually pretty good. Could be a little better, but not bad. It's a good thing we didn't let it drag on the way back. I think that'll be okay. Just for making nuts. Yeah, no need to measure. It's good enough. 
All right, just to get a fairly accurate assessment as to, you know, how, how close my angle is on here, I just got the collet in there. And I got the compound set for 10 degrees or, you know, close to it. But we should be, in theory, able to get it bang on like this. That's that's pretty damn good. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to worry too much about that. I guess as long as you can see the dial. So we're... That's, that's bang on. You know, within a, a few tenths, maybe. I'm going to call that good. Okay, so we don't want to go the full width of this, for sure. Because I don't want that going right... I don't know if that one has to go right flush. It's definitely going to need enough room to get through there, though. Yeah, I'm going to have to say at least half an inch. And depth-wise, compound, as far as the angle goes, uh, as far as depth goes, I'm going to mark it with the, with the cross slide and lock the carriage. So that's all going to be done with the compound as far as the angle goes. Uh, as far as depth goes, I'm going to mark it with the, with the cross slide and lock the carriage pressure on everything it's it's pretty good so yeah that says inch and 475 so i think if we went 25 thou under that'd probably be good yeah i'm guessing of course we can always check it along the way so i'm gonna get dial this in and set the compound to zero <laughs> It's an inch and 250. So we want to bring in at a hundred thou. So one rotation of the dial should uh, should do it. Right? Right. <laughs> yeah. Let's get that in there. Lock this carriage. Oh, I should probably loosen that compound up a bit. Yep, it's pretty tight. Chips everywhere. Yep, yeah, I think I'm gonna stop. Yeah, that's probably good. Nice. Yeah, it's just, just about there. Close enough. All right. That's pretty much phase one. We got just a smoke smidge sticking out. I don't know if that's supposed to be right flush. I don't think I'm going to do it right flush, though. We got most of it engaged. Feels like a good fit. This is really all I got to clean up the other side. Maybe put another dealie like that on there. Make a nut and she's done. Oh dear lord. Yeah, Chuck's going to need some maintenance.
Yeah, I know it wasn't perfectly on center, but take that sharp edge off there. It's pretty sharp. Well, all right. All in all, it turned out pretty okay, I think. I think the board didn't turn out too bad, considering all the chatter that I was got, got at first there. But uh, it seems to be fitting, fitting in there quite nice. Like, it's, it sticks as soon as you stick it in there. Now, I don't really have any uh, marker paint or anything like that, but I do got some of this crap. <laughs> so, I guess we'll just try a little bit of blue chalk and smear it around in there. See what kind of contact we're getting inside there. I'll try to go light with it. All right. Don't oh, use the chalk is making it hard to go in there, so that's pretty good. <laughs> Get a little turn. Pop it out. Well, it's kind of dark in here right now. Lights are still warming up, but it's looking like we got some pretty decent contact on there. Oh yeah, we got lots of contact up and down there. Yeah, it turned out pretty good. I gave it a little sanding, a little cleanup on the outside of the hex block here to see, you know, a little bit of sandpaper, nothing, nothing too fancy. But, uh, yeah, see a little bit of chalk in there. She's, that's a pretty good fit. You know, a little bit of chalk binds it up. So, yeah, very happy with that. Well, I think that might be it for this little part up, guys, because, uh, that was actually a little more involved than I thought it would be. <laughs> but uh, we'll get to it next time. Like, I already got the blank cut out for the nut. Well, that'll be a nut for pretty soon. So once I get the, the index of my thingy all sorted out, uh, we'll start to, uh, we'll index ourselves a nut. Till then, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.